Now this is a very sensitive issue which is being discussed here. You know, after the Muslims had won the battle of Badr, I told you 70 mushrikeen were killed. From among the Muslims only 14, 13 on the spot and one was injured and he died on way back to Medina. The total toll from Muslim side was 14. The Kuffar of Quraysh, 70. Another 70 were taken prisoners, captives. Now this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so to say, using the uh, most, you know, lenient words, he was displeased with it. Why did you do it? You shouldn't have taken them captives. Because the the power of kufr has not been, you know, broken up till now. If you have taken them captives, they will pay some ransom money and they'll go back. When they go back, they will again be able to come to fight against you. So actually there was a dispute because the Prophet ﷺ, he consulted his companions what we should do with them. His own inclination, because he was Rauf and Rahim, he was very lenient, very kind. To kill them, it was something, you know, against his nature. So he was inclined towards taking them captive and, you know, releasing them, taking some money and so on. Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu agreed with him, yes, this we should do. But Omar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he was very much against it, no. We should kill them all so that, you know, this strength of kufr is emaciated. It is broken. Their backs should be broken. And he went to the extent that whosoever is closest in relation to any mushrik captive from among the Muslims, he should assassinate with his own hands his closest relative who has come here, who came here to fight against the Muslims and who has been taken into captive. But you know, later on it was decided, no, we shall keep them as captives and we shall accept the ransom money and then we shall set them free. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is declaring his displeasure over this decision. And this is one of those events about which it is said, al haqq yantiqu ala lisani Umar. Kana ra'yuhu muwafiqan bil wahyi wal kitab. Rather we should say, وَهِي كَيْ مُوَافِقًا بِرَائِيهِ كَانَ الْوَحْيُ مُوَافِقًا بِرَائِيهِ وَهِي كَيْ In agreement with his opinion. So this is the special place and you know, cadre and level of Hazrat Umar رضي الله تعالى الْحَقُّ يَنْتِقُ عَلَى لِسَانِ عُمَرْ أَشَدُّهُمْ فِي أَمْرِ اللَّهِ عُمَرْ مَا كَانَ لِلنَّبِيِّنَ أَنْ يَكُونَ لَهُ أَسْرَى it's not befitting for a, for a prophet that there should be captives for him. Hatta yuskhina fil ard. Until there is sound crashing, crushing and threshing of the kufr in the land. To read an arad of dunya. You intend to get the wealth of this world? Then some money. That appears to be very attractive to you. Very harsh comments. It was actually not that the Prophet wanted some money or some wealth. It was out of mercy, out of leniency. That was the second, second nature of him. Twice in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has addressed him. Be harsh to these munafiqin. Be harsh. You shouldn't be kind to these people. But because it was his nature, second nature, as we call it. Ya yuh nabiyo jahid al kuffara wal munafiqina wa gluz alayhim. You should not be lenient to these people. You should be harsh. You have to treat them with harshness. So that the back of kufr is broken. If you are lenient, they get, you know, some extension. They are fresh leaves of existence they are having due to your leniency. حَتَّى يُسْخَلَ فِي الْتُرِيدُ تُرِيدُ الْعَرَضَ الدُّنْيَا وَاللَّهُ يُرِيدُ الْآخِرَةِ 
ویر از اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی انٹینس آخرا فار یو اللہ عزیز الحکیم اللہ از آل پاورفل آل مائٹی اینڈ آل وائز لولا کتاب من اللہ سبقا had it not been for the ordinance from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that had already gone before and this refers to ayah number 4 of surah muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam which you find in the 26th part of the mushaf there it was given an option that whenever the strength of the kufr has been broken then you can keep take captives now please ponder over it whether the back of kufr has been broken or not it's a judgment maybe i think it has been broken you think it has not been broken if it has been broken according to my assessment then we can have captives if it is not broken up till now according to your judgment then you will say no captives allah has not granted us to have captives before the back of the kufr has been broken thoroughly so because this is the principle in ijtihad al mujtahid al mukhti he also is rewarded he cannot be punished al mujtahid al musib he gets the double reward so it was taken to be an ijtihad of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and abu bakr radhiyallahu anhu that you know actually the the power of kufr has been broken so now we can take the captives but allah disagreed with the ijtihad but you can't punish anybody on ijtihad when it was their sincere opinion when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only declared his disagreement with ijtihad you can differ from a mujtahid in his, in his judgment no doubt but you know in ijtihad which has been done most sincerely earnestly you know even if it is wrong allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards it for rewards for it so that is the case laula kitab min allah sabaka this option had been given to you from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already in ayah number 4 of surah muhammad if that had not happened lamassakum fima akhastum azabun azim then what you have taken from them on that a very mighty chastisement a very mighty punishment would have come to you very stern warning فَكُلُوا مِمَّا غَنِمْتُمْ حَلَالًا طَيِّبًا So now you eat from whatever you have from the spoils of the war. Now what has been happened to the spoils of the war? The spoils, all the things that they had at the battle field. And now the spoils coming out of the ransom money of these captives. This is added to those spoils. فَكُلُوا مِمَّا غَنِمْتُمْ Although Allah declared his disagreement with this decision, but because... it was an ishtihad and the option was given by him so now whatever you have got you can eat it you can use it you can consume it halal and tayyiba it is permissible for you it is good for you but taqullaha inna allah ghafurur rahim hay taqwa of allah and verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving and merciful